Molly Ramsey disappeared a year ago today. Her parents have been unable to give any ideas as to what has happened to her and the police say that all her friends and family remain as suspects. Molly was last seen here at the Chelmsford Theatre when performing as part of the Chelmsford Young Performers. Sorry to interrupt your memorial. I know I've met some of Molly's closest friends before, but there are lots who didn't come forward when our appeal went out for friends of Molly's to come and speak to us at Essex Police. I think, as we're all here now, why don't we start the interviews again? Perhaps you could all wait in the dressing rooms whilst I start with you. So, why don't we start at the beginning? When did you last see Molly? Bo began. We had just finished recording shots so about. She pauses and thinks for about two seconds. 5 pm, let's say. I had already told everyone I was going and was just going to grab a snack and a cup of coffee from the downstairs bar before I went home. I think it was Jester Moore, Molly, and the bartender were in the bar. All of them were arguing about something. Love, I think. I don't know. I went back to the studio to grab my bag and I saw Molly going into the bathroom. She had told me about a month ago that she can't handle being unhygienic and from what I could hear about the argument, Jester Moore had thrown something at her. The only other person that was in there was Buster Deville and he was just recording sounds to end off the session. We talked about coffee for a bit and then I went home. I didn't see Molly leave the bathroom and I didn't see her after that. Bo pauses again, as if she was waiting for something. Anything else? It was a Sunday night, 5pm to be exact, and I was having a chat with my friends about the rehearsals. Which play were you rehearsing? Shakespeare's The Merchant of Venice, an old one. Anyways, we were in the bar, sipping drinks, having some fun, when Molly walked in. Which bar were you all in? Upstairs. Molly was talking to a boy behind the bar and then left for the toilet. After that, Jess walked up to the boy and started chatting up him up. It seemed like they were flirting. Did you see the boy's face? No, couldn't catch a good look at him, but I did hear his name. And what was his name? Larry, I think it was. What happened next? Molly saw Jess and Larry talking, and her and Jess began to argue. I had to bounce and sort out some props and record some sounds and talk to one of my friends as I left. I did overhear, though, that Molly was heading to the downstairs bar to clear her head. The others mentioned secrets. Did Molly tell you any secrets? Nah, of course not. I knew there was something a bit, you know, off about her, but she never trusted me with no secrets. Last question. What happened when you returned? When I came back, Molly was gone. I checked both bars, even asked if anyone had seen her, but nobody had. That's all I know. Thank you for your time. You're welcome, Mr Detective. When was the last time you saw Molly? It was 5pm in the bar and my legs were so tired because they had just walked up hundreds of millions of stairs. Why did there have to be stairs? And I'd left my glasses at home. And what was Molly doing? Molly, who was always such an awfully boring person, sat in silence at the bar. I sat at the opposite end of the bar. You couldn't even pay me to sit next to her. I always knew there was something up with her, but nobody ever listened to me. Molly then walked straight into the boys' toilet. Like, how weird is that? I've absolutely no idea how anybody could ever like her. I always suspected that she was hiding something. What were you doing before you met her bar? rehearsing for our play of Hamlet at the theatre. It went awfully 
positively awfully. What did you see? What happened next in the bar? Then some seriously shady man came in and started shouting at Jess and then Lewis, the bartender, said they might get kicked out of the bar. Then Jess started sobbing about how Molly had stolen him away from her and then she fell to her knees and begged him to love her again. And how did you react to this? Well, I followed them to the cafe and I had completely forgotten about boring old Molly. Jess had a drink with the shady man who told Jess their love was never real and Jess then stormed out of the theatre. The man then went to search for Molly, his real love. I was absolutely gobsmacked that he could ever love such a dull girl. Even so, I went to search for her to rake in all the gossip and tell it to all my friends. I conquered the stairs and pretended to search the bar. I would never go into the boys' toilet. What did you do when you realised she'd gone missing? I pretended to be sad, then rushed to tell my friends what had happened. Pretended? I remember it like it was yesterday. It was 3pm on Saturday. I was sitting on the first floor bar with me and Jess. A sting of jealousy rolled over her face. From the other side of the bar was Molly, dressed in a long silver sequin dress. Look at her that perfect dress and her perfect hair. Calm down, you don't know what it could be. It could be a family reunion. I knew why she was actually here though. For the boy of her dreams, who was also Jess's. I promised not to tell anyone the real reason she was here, for no one knew the secret she held, a secret that would make everyone gasp out loud. Filled with envy, Jess stormed up to Molly, saying how disgusted she was of her. You were a rude and annoyingly perfect person. I could just kill you! Just then, a boy strolled through the bar. Jess stopped immediately, blushing. Um, hi, Lois. Nice to see you again. I've never met you. It's not like I've been stalking you, I'd be crazy. I need to go walk my cat. Making excuses, she ran away, going towards home at around 3.45pm and walked towards the exit of the theatre. That was the very last time she was seen. Is it alright if I ask you a few questions? Okay. Who is this boy? The bartender. He was late. You ever said this boy was called Larry and Linda? Is this the same person? How am I supposed to know? If he is a bartender, then yes, but his name was Louis. We'd been rehearsing all weekend and Molly was being her normal dramatic self. It was always about Molly. What do you mean? I was in the toilet and heading back into the stalls when behind the pillar in the bar, I heard Elaine and Linda arguing. Don't start your moaning again, my dear. Oh, shut up. You're always telling me what to do. That's because you never listen. 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 You never listen to me. If you didn't listen, we wouldn't be in this mess. It's not me. It's that Kathy from the calf spread in the rumours. You said she didn't tell you about the Rovers returning and the secret about his hotbot. Well, how else do you think? It was me, OK? What? I did it for you. Oh, and how does that work? Why should the calf get all the food business around the square? I make a great cheese toastie. Enough, Molly. You've created real trouble for us. Yeah, Molly. Get out of my pub. It's not your pub. It's my 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 pub. They both looked at her with evil in their eyes. You need to sort her good and proper. I remember it vaguely, 5pm Saturday night. I was in the downstairs bar near the entrance of Molly after rehearsals with Roman and Juliet. We were waiting for her boyfriend, Linda. Molly left to go home and me and Linda were left talking in the bar near the toilets. Before Molly left, she told me that she was secretly married. Linda was also the bartender. I did like Linda, but Molly didn't know. So, when was the last time you saw Molly? 5pm Saturday night. What were you doing together? We were in the downstairs bar. We had just finished Romeo and Juliet rehearsals. Why were you in the bar? Molly was waiting for her boyfriend, Linda. I liked Linda, but Molly didn't know. Was there any key information Molly told you? She did say a secret that she was secretly married. Why was Linda there? He was the bartender. When did Molly leave? She left at 6pm. She said she went home. Why did she go home? She, she said she was tired, but as she left, I saw a guy walk past. 
with props. I saw I talked to the guy about coffee. Molly was in the downstairs bar when a man came in with a missing eye. He went down on all fours and charged at her. She tried to escape, but the man pounced on her and dragged her out of the bar and onto the dark street where they disappeared. You're welcome. <laughs> Look at you all. I think you're so smart, don't you? Whatever you've done with Molly, whichever of you have... Why? Why would you have decided to lie so badly? I will find out. I will find Molly. <laughs> <laughs> the winner of Mr. Beast's worldwide hide and seek game. 200 followers of Mr. Beast were each given the chance to win one million pounds by playing hide and seek. And on the day the chance for young people celebrated the life of Molly, we can now reveal that in fact Molly has for the last year been playing hide and seek and is the overall winner. It just goes to show, can't beat an Essex girl. Kids today.